are they gonna do? The block heart. What do we need the block heart for? Can I not? Sh Maybe I show him the block heart thing. I'm confusing myself. I'm confused. There's a clock ticking, but I can't ask. There's no actual clock. Yeah, I just need to respond to this message. Switch that off just now. So where we're we gonna go? I wonder what this block hearts for. Can't go in there. They're gonna do something, aren't they? Those little kids. Oh. Mm. Can we use the block heart card on that door? from Sir Bruce. We're not going in. Yeah. <gasps> What's happening? Who are you? What do you want? Let's just talk to her. And that's it. I'm here to see Madam Blackheart. I sense you're greatly troubled by something. Yes, I am. How did you know? She's very good, isn't she, Kevin? You are searching for something. Someone. A stranger. Yes, yes. Jeff the murderer. Oh, Shashavastat. This is bad. Very bad. I was told you could help me find who did this by contacting the spirits. But I'm rather skeptical. Yes. I contact the spirits, but first, you must cross my hand with silver. Sorry, I don't have any silver. Ooh, but I do have this massive diamond. That will do. Didn't take much persuasion there. Eh? Can you hear me? Shh. Someone is answering. She's in great torment. Help me, Bertrand Fiddles. You're my only hope. You're my only hope. Well, the evening started out much like any other. Hello, mister. How are you this fine evening? Here, don't I know you? Ain't you that jet? Oh, what are you doing? And then he cut me blooming head off. A rotten scoundrel. Help me down there. Who wrong me? So I may rest in peace and not in pieces. Look for the sign of the spotted calf. The spotted calf. Ooh, ooh. Someone else is coming. Something wicked. Ooh, but spirit. Cover your heart, senior Vida. No, no. 
I can stop them. Run, you fool. Run. Oh my god, that's a bad joke. These are exceptionally fast phantasms. Uh, I didn't mean to run into that ones. Uh. It's lucky I'm such an athlete. Why are they chasing me? All that running must have over exorcised them. Okay, we made it. I think. Phew. I think that has given them the slip. Are you okay, sir? Oh, Gavin. I feel most peculiar. Like I've been scrubbed inside out with an ice cold, dirty dishcloth. Okay, where are we going now? We've got oh, we're round the back of the vinegar factory. What's this? Uh, nothing else there. Can't do that door. We've got a leg hanging on a sign. What's this street called? Button Alley? Not sure. Sherlock, what are you doing here? Haha, <laughs> fiddle. Maybe you aren't such a fool as I thought. But you're too late. He's already gone. Who? Jeff! Jeff the murderer! What's the matter, Fiddle? You look like you've seen a ghost. Shush, Watson. You must think you're pretty clever tracking him down to this unassuming lair. But the fiend is obviously a criminal mastermind. Always one step ahead of the law. It's like a game to him. He's toying with us. Yeah, I'm going to make some more coffee because I've run out. Um, I shall be back in a couple of minutes. I need a bio break as well, so. Okay, I'm back again. Um, I can talk to Sherlock. <laughs> What's wrong now, Fiddle? You look like a confused carrot. A confused carrot? Are you sure this is that fiendish villain's house? Certainly looks like it with all the heads and everything. There's a photo. Ah, oh, he hasn't changed a bit. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. <laughs> hmm. Cupboard, which we can't get into. Oh, we must have just missed him. His dinner is still warm. Liver, mushy peas. And a nice bottle of gin. A letter addressed to me? Dear Mr. Fiddles, you think you are so clever following my clues, don't you? But maybe you aren't. Maybe I left them for you to find. Or maybe I didn't. The miserable demon who tells me what to do says the story isn't finished yet. I will be back. Yours truly, Jeff the Murderer. P.S. Do you like hot dogs? I can smell burning. Foofy! Are you okay? What kind of a maniac would make sausages out of a dog? Werther isn't going to be happy with this. Shh. I can hear scratching. Foofy, where is it coming from? What kind of a... Werther isn't... What atrocious apparatus! So where's Foofy hiding? Do 
Do we have anything on us? No. Oh, under the mat. It's under the floorboards. How do we lift them up? It's under the... Yes. Quick, Gavin, move the table. Look, a trapdoor. Step aside, Gavin. A smile on his face. Oh, Foofy! You're alive! Goody! Well done, sir. Oh, Werther will be so happy. Looks like it's time for us to return home, Gavin. Do we need to take Foofy? No. Nothing else. Oh, here's the reporter. I must say, I am very impressed, Mr. Fiddle. It looks like you really had that villain on the run. Are you going to continue your pursuit? Do not fear, Emelina. Even though I'm going home to have my supper and get a good night's sleep, I shan't rest until I solve this mystery and uncover the secret identity of Jeff the Murderer, whomever he is. Well... I, for one, can't wait for the next thrilling installment of this adventure. And don't forget about the wager, Holmes. Ha! You'll have to do a lot better than this if you want to see me in a lady dress. What a marvellous story it's turning out to be. be continued that was very good I enjoyed that I do have part two which we shall go on to in a minute quite a few people doing voices We'll just let the credits scroll up. Rumpus. Yeah, that was really good. I enjoyed that. Right, let's um, come out and we shall move on to part two. A bleaker predicament. <laughs> uh, that's all a okay. A bleaker pred predicament. Yeah, let's just check our thing. It's probably the same sentence. We'll leave the subtitles on. Right, new game. Here we go. Oh, it's the rat again. And the little twins. Everybody's back. Is that his nose and his eyes and his moustache and the logo? Chapter 1, An Unexpected Occurrence. Asleep again, fiddle. This will never do. Everyone else has finished their work and gone home hours ago. You're still three short of your daily quota. This is not good enough, fiddle. <laughs> uh, sorry, Mr. Dullsworth. Uh, I'll get those seen to right at once. Let yourself out when you're done. I shall be in my office attending to business, and I don't want to be disturbed. Yes, Mr. Dullsworth. Top to move. Top to move where? Anywhere. Someone is calling me at this hour? Hello. Mr. Fuddle. Mr. Bertram Fuddle. Yes, but it's actually Bertram Fiddle. It's close 
enough, Mr. Fuddle. This is Mr. Dullsworth's mother. I'm calling you because I hear you have some detectivating experience. Well, yes, I do have a certain reputation for sleuthfulness. Very good. I need someone to do some investigating for me. And as I've been unable to get hold of the esteemed Mr. Holmes, you will have to suffice. Um, certainly, madam. Let me be brief, Mr. Fiddle. My son has been acting most peculiar recently. Find out what he is up to and report back to my house immediately. Good gracious. This seems like the beginning of an adventure. I must finish my work here as quickly as possible. All right. Oh, we can look at that. I want to know what this is. Looks like a fuse, doesn't it? Oh, it's missing from there. I put this in my pocket until I want to use it. Tiern? Selling soap is thirsty work. Ah, this tea is revolting. Hello. Where's Luna? Okay. Got some treats. See if I put them in Barnes basket. Are you going to go in it? There you go. There's Luna. She probably won't stay though. She always goes away. Um. Right. We've got this. Mr. Alfred Grumpson. Can I put... Can I put that there? Telegram circuits on. Fuse capacitator. Fusing. Time to sell some soap. Hmm. Who seems like a suitable customer? Oh, look, I can change it. Mr. Mrs. Ruth Fondling. <laughs> Mr. Bob Gollibald. <laughs> Mr. Pedal Quinge. Guy Hardwood. <laughs> Mr. Keith. Debauchery. Mr. Oliver Groton. Lady Marigold Glumsfield. Marigolds. Victoria Baldersnatch. Ralph Spongewell. Mmm, might be him. Can we try B1? Where's D3? Yeah. How does this work? Hello, Mr. Spongewell speaking. Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? Not today, thank you. I'm quite clean enough. Miss Agatha Mutton Lugs. Right, so that's them all. So are we going to have to go through them all, are we? Hello, who is this? Greetings, I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an ex- How did you get this number? Do you know what time it is? It's my relaxing time, that's what it is! Do I sound relaxed to you? Do I? <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. Sorry? I'll make you sorry. Don't ever call this number again. Horatio Spater. Oh, my eyes! Speak up, my eyes are hurting. Greetings! I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer. Dullsworth, you say? I got some Dullsworth shampoo in my eyes and couldn't see for weeks, and it still stings. I wouldn't use that stuff on my cats. It's a menace. Goodbye. Mrs. Ruth Fondling. Mm. Oops, didn't work. C4. Oh, hello. Is that you, Margaret? Uh, no. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer just for you. Soap? Oh, no, no, no thank you very much, Lee. I, I never use the stuff. I like things dirty. 
چرا؟ Bob Gollibles. He might take. Uh, C2. Hello, who is this? Hello, sir. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer just for you. Really? Just for me? How delightful. Yes, yes it is. For a limited period only, we are offering you a free flannel with every bar of adequate soap you buy. A free flannel, you say? Ooh, wonderful. I'll take one, please. Really? I mean, excellent. I shall have those dispatched to you right away. Do we do the other ones? We may as well. <sighs> Let me just get rid of this thing. I did put on um, filtering. Um, you have to have a verified account with an email address. There was the option to put on um, some other filtering. I might have to enable that. Uh, where are we going? D1. D1 up there. Mr. Pedal Quinge. Mr. Quinge is speaking. Hello. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company. And? Would you, perchance, be interested in purchasing some of our perfectly adequate soap? Whatever for? Its unique formula is guaranteed to make you fairly clean. I don't have time for this newfangled cleanliness in my life. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm going to the left, Mr. Guy Hardwood. B3 to C1. Guy Hardwood speaking. What do you want? Come on, come on, spit it out! I ain't got all day! I'm an exceptionally important person! Important. Greetings. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer! Fiddle! You old dog! Is that you? Uh, no, no, most definitely not! Goodbye! <laughs> Mr. Keith Debauchery. Before... Before a dive. <laughs> yes? Greetings! I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer. Go on. Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? Whatever for? Well, it is very good for cleaning. Does it remove stubborn stains, like... Blood, for example. Um, probably. Oh, well then. I'll take five, no, six packets right away. Ooh, jolly good. Oh. I never noticed the lights were lighting up at the top. Mr. Oliver Grottle. A4 to D1. Oh, didn't manage to get that cable in. Mr. Grotto's residence. Would you be interested in a bar of our new and improved, even more adequate soap? Soap? No. Not now, not never. Soap bad. Milks you, it does. Right. I'll put that down as a no, then. Oh, I need to one, one more sale. Lady Marigold Glumsfield. Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? No. Didn't think so. <laughs> oh no, we need another sale. Victoria Baldersnatch. <sighs> right. Hello? What do you want? 
Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? How rude! Goodbye! Why is that rude? I need another sale. Oh no. Oh no, I haven't done that one. Agatha Mutton Lugs. Uh, A3. And we're in D2. Hello! Greetings, madam. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company. Would you like to buy some soap? What flavour? Flavour? What flavour? Mm, sort of cleany, flowery? <laughs> I love soup. I'll buy some. Sorry, madam. I think you misheard me. I said soap, not soup. Oh, that is a shame. I really wanted to buy some soup. Well, this soap does make a tasty broth. It does? Then I'll buy a packet. Thank you. Jolly good. <clears throat> At last, my work is done. I need Mr. Dullsworth to stamp my work ticket. Did the master fool everybody? I did. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Right. Can I look at anything else? No, I need to go upstairs. Mm, there's a door there. Soap is good. Mr. Dullsworth? He's not there really, is he? Mr. Dullsworth? Wherever could he be? There, I see. Well, I never saw him leave. Mrs. Dullsworth was right. He is up to something. He's just left a cardboard cutout. I wonder if he's in the closet. <laughs> These oh. look like the clothes he was just wearing. It's a secret, a secret door. Exit. Yeah, there is. But I want to look at everything else. Mrs. Dullsworth, a formidable woman. Her eyes seem to follow you around the room. Oh my, sales of soap are slipping. And look at the cost of ink. It's extortionate. Why would we buy an ink? The witty motivational painting. Wait, there's something behind it. <laughs> it's an Emerson and Burke safety safe. Solid as a rock. Okay, I need a combo. So we need to find that. What a tidy desk. These are debtor's letters. Mr. Dullsworth isn't as squeaky clean as everyone thinks. And lotion. He must like keeping his skin soft. <laughs> Mr. Dullsworth's work diary. So this is what he does in here all day. A deal for new products. Unobjectively scented candles, cheese flavored soap, <laughs> turnip cleaner, shampoo that doesn't burn the eyes. I may ask JVG when it will happen. I've been waiting ever so patiently for the right moment, but somehow one always forgets and becomes so forgetful. I can't go on like this much longer. Mother is starting to get suspicious. I feel her watching me. Turn that frown upside down. I wonder if something is bothering him. Meet somebody and DM at 7pm this evening. Tonight I get revenge on MC. I will make Mother proud. Stupid cut. He can't tell me what to think. He can't, he can't. Remember to buy buns. A souvenir from the delightful town of Grimsthorpe. A photograph of his mother. He must love her very much. Mr. Dullsworth's stamping machine. I'm sure I will be permitted to use it in his absence. Bother! It's inkless. Mm. Without ink, I shall remain unstamped. Where are we going to get ink from? Can't turn that upside down. Well. 
this must be how he sneaks in and out without anyone noticing. Mr. Dullsworth is slipperier than he looks. What does Mr. Dullsworth need a secret tunnel for? Yeah, exactly. I can see the soap making machines. It's bolted tight. Nothing else. Let's head this way. He's got clean away. What could he possibly be up to? Possibly. A mooring, but the boat's not about. Okay, so we can't follow him that way. We don't have anything from there yet. We need to get ink. I guess we have to go out. Shampoo. Barrels of unexceptional shampoo. Imagine the lather we'd be in if something happened to them. Can we not, um... Oh, extra adequate soap. It smells perfectly acceptable. Good evening, Mr. Fiddles. Working late again. That lovely wife of yours must be very proud. Indeed she is, Mr. Tibbs. But this is merely a short-term position until I find myself a suitable adventure. Of course, sir. I understand. I actually am an author. Romance novels is my thing. This job is merely to pay the bills until I get myself a publishing deal. Good for you, Tibbs. Now, if you will open the gate, I'll be off. I'm afraid you can't leave until you've finished your work. Mm. How am I going to get ink? At least he runs over this time. He doesn't just um, change over. We must have to do something with this tea. Uh, maybe one more. It's like drinking cat's piddle! How would you know what cat piddle tastes like? I can still... Can't use that? No. I've only got my ticket. Maybe I should just put my ticket in. Tidy desk. Bother! It's inkless. How am I going to get ink? Hand lotion. He must like keeping his skin soft. No, I, I can't. No, oh, no, I can't. It's just me clicking. Okay. These are debtors' letters. Mister Dullsworth isn't. It? A souvenir from the... <laughs> he must have put the ink somewhere for safekeeping. Wait, it must be in the safe. Mr. Dullsworth's work diary. So this is what... Turn that frown upside down. I wonder if something is bothering him. 7734. Right, that's the code for the safe. There we go. Hell. Oh, there's the ink. Andrew. Ooh, red ink. A letter, quite perfumery, and sealed with a kiss. Her room. It's a loving kiss. 
Right. What a tidy. Yeah, we know. Let's put the ink in there. Aha! Now I am legitimized. Right, we can get out of here now. It was the turn that frown upside down. You turned the word hell upside down. A pleasant and uneventful evening to you, Mr. Fiddles. I'm afraid you can't leave until you've finished your work. Rules is rules. Right, we've got our little paper boy again. Evening, Burble! Evening, Burble! Distinct lack of murderings lately. Jeff the murderer not struck again for a long time. Let me have a look at that. Obviously a slow news day. Uh, tell me about it, sir. I've been shouting about nothing for over a year now. Well, they do say no news is good news. Uh, not for me, it ain't. Detective Holmes on holiday. I don't know what the hook's for. Well, we don't have his, his um, servant with us this, this time. This bin is full of peels. Can I take it? This bin is... Good evening, sir. You're working late. Yes, sir. Another convict escaped last night and ran down the sewers. It's like a maze down there. An escape? How thrilling. Indeed. Whisked clean away whilst no one were looking. Was the convict dangerous? That's not for me to say, sir. I'm just here to fill in some gaping holes. Can't take anything. can go in there and we can exit. This looks like the prison, doesn't it? Dark Deed Jail, where all the worst characters end up. Strange the soap factory is so close to the prison. Okay, we can't go in there. I must find Mrs. Dalsworth's house and report my findings to her. The Dalsworth estate is at the top of Tormentley Hill, if I recall correctly. Okay, what about your oranges? Can't go that way. The Manporium. Full of male enhancements to make oneself more manly. All sorts of gentlemanly enhancements in there. A bit loud this time, isn't it? I'll let me turn down the game volume a little bit more. See how we get on with that. Can I go that way? I remember you. May I help you? No one touches my origins cart but me. Is that okay? I think it's okay, isn't it? It's about the same level of level as I'm speaking. Right, can we go in here? <laughs> I've got a doorman. You can tell a lot about a gentleman by the size of his hat. Fake moustache, beards. What a fine selection of beards and whiskers. The right beard makes an excellent personality substitute. Would you like to upgrade your facial hair? I am already more than sufficiently endowed in the moustache <laughs> department. Thank you very much. This is a good, hefty cane, but I don't have need for such an instrument. What are you needing? Gloves, sewing machine. Oh, 
will take me ages to mend these mancessories with needle and thread. So it would seem. So why is she not using her sewing machine then? It will take me ages. So it would seem. Guess we need to come back here. Is he tied up or something? Oscar! What are you doing? I'm protesting, Bertram. My dear friend, Walter, has been thrown into prison simply for being an artiste. Until Walter is set free, I shall remain enshackled here. Well, I hope you really stick it to the man, Oscar. Me too, Bertram. Me too. Just go. Gonna... Lower that down a tad more. It's a bit louder than the first game. Here's the reporter. Bertram, over here! Evelina! Fancy seeing you here! How are you? I've not seen you for such a time. Off having fantastic adventurings, no doubt. Um, not exactly. I, uh, how are you? Have you been busy? Not at all, Bertram. There is so little news to report upon nowadays. Since all those dreadful murderings stopped, I've had nothing to do. I'd really hoped that the Jeff the Murderer story would make my name as an independent investigative journalist. But it's been so quiet recently. Even Sherlock Holmes has gone away on an extended holiday. I hope something newsworthy happens soon, or I may be forced to make my own headlines. I'm almost tempted to murder someone myself. Just for something to write about. <laughs> oh. I'm uh, currently investigating a case for Mrs. Dalsworth. It's nothing much, but I'm hoping it may turn into some sort of fantastical adventure. Oh. Dalsworth, eh? Here's a name I've not heard in a while. I know a few things about old squeaky clean Dalsworth that would shock the likes of you. Really, madam? Do you mind? Ooh, la -de da Does your lady friend want some flowers? Oh, no. She isn't my... I mean, I mean I'm not her. The, the, oh. No, thank you, madam. I'm not a flowery person. Suit yourself. All right. Oh, we can look at this map. We need to get to there. So no budget square adventurers club hemlock street we were there on the first game there's the train station to the victorian countryside right we need to get up here though so we're going to keep heading that way can i oh i can look at our backpack i'm going away for a few days there is something very important i need to do off somewhere nice are you i shan't tell you anymore it is too complicated Secrets. How do I get out of here then? There. Oh, I can go into Aunt Fanny's cakery. <laughs> oh, that's his wife. There's Bertram's wife. Where the? Where the? Full fee. Bertram, what are you doing? I've been working late, and Mrs. Dalsworth has asked me to do something. It's not an adventure, is it? You know I forbade you to have any adventurings. They are such a waste of money. Of course, my dear. I wouldn't dream of it. Besides, I am much better off since you started work at the soap factory. <laughs> Got an oven door. Don't be twiddling nose. You'll ruin my bakery. Don't make me come over there. Being a baker is a whiskey business. Oh dear. I'm far too busy whisking to talk. Is how I keep my batter so smooth and creamy. She's engrossed in a frenzy of master baking. <laughs> Ooh, pun cakes, my favourite. Pun cakes. Ooh, nice buns. <laughs> so much innuendo. Mmm, very Moorish. 
Can I not take anything? Oh, he's walking through the barrel. Sleep bug. Being a baker is a whiskey. I'm cheating group. Okay, I guess we're coming back here later. Right, let's head up the street. A rather bleak and sinister alley. Can't go in there. Okay, here's the house. Mrs. Dullsworth's cameras scrutinize the whole street. I doubt if anything gets past her watchful gaze. There's a break in the wire. Okay, so we're not going to manage to use that, are we? have an appointment with Mrs. Dullsworth. I can't hear you. There must be a vault on the line. Can you hear me? Not if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Very much so. Those vulgar messages are an eyesore. I'm not letting you in until I know who you are. Hmm. It's locked. I'm gonna have to take these posters down or something. Take a tram, a modern and exciting way to travel. Suitable for common folk, toffs, and even women. Oh. Ah. Right. We can pull the words. So we need Bertram. Can I put that there? Do I need harm? Bertram Fiddle. So we need the dull over there, don't we? Bird. Tram. Dull. Absolute gibberish. Bertram. How many? There's two down there as well, right? So we need fiddle there. Ber Bertram. I am um, Bertram fiddle. I am Bert Tram Fig Dull. Ah, so you are Bertram fiddle. Why didn't you say so? You're late. <laughs> It's quite clever puzzle, that. The Dullsworth estate looks like they've cleaned up with their soap business. They must have made a packet. What's he digging the hole for? Good day, sir. That's a sizable hole you're digging. Yes, sir. Mom has instructed me to dig it, though I don't know why. To bury our husband in. Splendid bloomage for this time of year. Indeed. I don't know what Mum uses for fertilizer, but they are always unseasonably hearty. She's up there looking out the window. Looks like Mrs. Dullsworth is waiting for me. Oh, we're going to have to do something with that later, aren't we? Guardian of the 
forest. How do you do, ma'am? You're late, Mr. Fiddle. I've been watching your dilly-dallyings. It is the sign of a simple mind. That was no dilly-dallying. That was top-quality investigative strolling you witnessed. <laughs> On earth is that? That's the Lady of Shalot, isn't it? Ooh. I see everything, Mr. Fiddle. Everything. I can't look at them though. Mm. I expect you want a cup of tea. It's cold, and very bitter. That's how I like it. I guess we just talk to her then. He has a weak mind, Mr. Fiddle, and is easily led astray. Lately, he has a crazy look in his eyes. I've seen it before, and know he is up to something. I only have his best interests at heart. I need to know what he's doing. Didn't you find anything suspicious? No, nothing at all. I'm sure your son has nothing to hide. You are either lying or a fool, Mr. Fiddle. Which is it? There was nothing of significance in his office, but I will continue my inquirements. Inquirements. <laughs> hmm. He so very rarely sits with me anymore. Is that their son? What lovely specimens! Taxidermy is one of Algernon's hobbies. It takes his mind off things. Really now? I can't look at anything else really. Oh, we can look out here. A nope. perfect view of the soap factory. I like to keep a close eye on my son. Recently, he has become even more feckless than usual. Anyth anything we can look at? No. Right, well, I guess we're going to leave now. be off then. If I uncover any more news, I'll be sure to let you know. I will leave no stone unprobed. Make sure you do. I'm only trying to protect him, Mr. Fiddle. A mother is a boy's best friend, Mr. Fiddle. Hmm. I still want to know what the massive hole's for. Good day, sir. Yes, sir. Nothing new there. Oh. Goodness <laughs> me, it's you! Yeah, I am. <laughs> <gasps> the murderer. Jeff, the murderer from the first game. She's got calm, is oh there? Oh my! Um, don't move, I'll get help. Can we not look at anything? No. Can't go that way. Well, well, well. Fiddle. I must admit you had me fooled. I never would have suspected you were Jeff the Murderer. Sherlock, what are you doing here? I thought you were on holiday. I just got back, and it's lucky I did, you despicable fiend. But Sherlock, it wasn't me. How could you think that? Well, let me see. Let's look at the evidence. There's a dead body, 
and there's you. You're quite mistaken. I saw Jeff run off in that direction. It's a shame there aren't any witnesses to back up your ludicrous story. You, madam, did you see what happened? Indeed I did, Mr. Holmes. I heard a scream and looked out my window and saw that man standing over that poor dead lady. Well, thank you, nosy old crone. <laughs> That's all the proof we need. Sherlock, you can't honestly think it was Bertram. Look, murderous footprints leading right to that wall. Take him to Jail Street. Right you are, sir. But it wasn't me. I'm innocent. <laughs> if I had a penny for every time I've heard that one, Fiddle. <laughs> Take him to jail. I like the cop, the way they've drawn him. <laughs> Looks like you won't be winning any wages now, Fiddle. Something doesn't smell quite right, Sherlock. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Watson, you have to believe me. I'm not Jeff. I know, Bertram. I know. Send for Gavin. Tell him I need help. Of course. Hold tight, Bertie. Oh, shush, Watson. Are we going to... Oh, chapter 2, the wrongful confinement. Are we going to play, be playing as... Welcome to your new home, you terrible, terrible man. Unhand me, you oaf. Don't you know who I am? It's Jeff the murderer, by all accounts. Nonsense. I have been framed. I'm innocent. Oh, everyone who comes in here is innocent. Makes no difference to me. Oh, my. What shall I do? I've got to get out of here. I need a quick bio break. Uh, I might get some something to drink, some juice or something. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes.